statistics vary from the simple common malaria to vaccination of children at the birth, and then you move up to very serious illnesses. So depending on various categories. Also, we knew that with increasing the, uh, the teaching hospitals, trying to increase their numbers across the country, and that's why, for example, in the Volta region, we're upgrading uh, the uh, whole, the whole uh, regional, regional hospital, hospital into a teaching hospital mm -hmm. because we needed to get doctors to stay in the regions and they wouldn't if they couldn't specialize. So, and you, you cannot specialize if you don't have a teaching hospital with the professors being there to actually train these uh, doctors who are up and coming. So the more teaching hospitals you create, and we wanted one per region, uh, was our, our aim, then it would mean that doctors would be happy to stay in the regions because they would be able to still specialize in the field or, or mm. that they require. Mm. So that was the focus of our uh, infrastructure, increased infrastructure uh, across board was the focus retooling uh, the existing, because we had hospitals, Colibuans, we spent a lot of money retooling it uh, because we were, even though the, the, the buildings existed, the equipment wasn't up to date, etc. So mm. um, that was the main focus of our attention in terms of healthcare. Uh, so so the, the spread was from the chips to the Right up to hospitals. the tertiary, to the, up to the I, hospitals. I see. We, we have built a lot of district hospitals, a lot of uh, uh, polyclinics um, uh, across the country, as you know, in central region, in uh, Brahafu region, in uh, uh, western region. Uh, and we were doing uh, a program of five or ten per region in terms of the district hospitals. The aim is to have a district hospital and then also have a regional hospital, and then also eventually have a teaching hospital, and then have a system where you graduate. We also had to make sure that we had personnel uh, for these hospitals. So mm. you'd see that we built, we had a lot of uh, training schools uh, up and down the country, which opened in order that we could have nurses, clin clinicians, and et cetera. So there was a lot of work done in the health sector right. during the Mills Army. When, when you left office, yes. From where you sit and certainly you will be observing, yeah. what have you seen? Well, I think that uh, the, one of the main problems with uh, uh, the whole system of changes of government is the inability to sometimes continue things that already exist and finish them off. Um, because then politically, it's seen as a credit to your opponent and not to yourself. And so the uh, advancement or the progress of the country is totally uh, uh, slowed or slowed down mm -hmm. because of this uh, position uh, that we have in our body politic, if I can put it that way. So people then try to have a different priority or do something different, uh, which does not necessarily help. So and it's affecting the, the sector. It affects the whole country. Look, if you look from possibly the time of Achampong to the current government, there was between 300 to 400 million dollars worth of uncompleted medical facilities in this country. Because when a government comes, it stops. When a government comes, it stops. So one of the priorities we will have to look at is that we have to look at all these facilities and we started in our time and make a decision which ones do we have to start from scratch because they've been the plan and everything is wrong which ones can we finish and put monies into this regardless of which government started it because they are in areas which we can use that and the biggest one of them all is the, uh, the maternity block mm. in Kumasi at the Konfonochi, which has been there since the, the period of uh, Champo, a huge uh, facility that we've no, you need about maybe 80, 90 million dollars, if not 100, uh, some say 50, but depending, to actually finish that uh, edifice that stands. So there is a need for us to, as a people, begin to understand that we really have to stop this. Uh, I won't finish your work, I, I, I'm looking at something. How do we change it? The politician will well, have to think again? Yes, and uh, you would have hoped that uh, the plan that uh, the uh, uh, GNPC, not GNPC, uh, uh, the uh, group that deals with uh, planning, our National Development Planning Commission, right. would be able to look at one plan, and even though it's for a five, seven year period, 
The next plan that will come should look and see how far we've gotten with things and make them priorities. But because we have manifestos, then we have to look at things and see where they go. And most of our manifestos are not that different. Uh, the way we implement things may differ, wow. but the actual uh, policy should be the same. And that is where we tend to, to but, fall but down. Some would also argue that the, it, when, when, when a politician is in a position, then he sees what is wrong. And then you could be talking this way today, that next one year in power, you could also say, okay, the, the government that I took over, uh, the project that the government was uh, doing, I'm not going to continue. Yes, but it depends on what type of a project. So uh, I don't say that is going to happen. But if you had a situation How where, let me explain. What type of project? If you are building a cathedral and uh, we come into office and we decide that we won't finish the church, we will rather build, finish the hospital, it makes sense. Because it's not that there's a lack of churches. There is a lack of hospitals. And the two differ. It's not like we don't have, we, we have maybe too many churches. So we are building a cathedral. Fine. I'm not saying that there's, it's a national one. There might be a reason for it. But if somebody decides that I'm not doing that, I'm going to finish a hospital, especially if it's involving government funds, I'm going to use that and continue using private funds to try and do this. Mm. Fine. But that kind of a change in priority makes sense. However, it does not necessarily make sense that you will not finish a hospital or a chip compound or you delay the process so that in, in effect it doesn't appear to have been something that has been created by your predecessor. So you stall a project for two, three years and then when it finishes you say, well, I did it. When in actual fact you've stored it for two, three years. And most of these things have a financial implication mm -hmm. because we take out loans and we pay interest on those loans. They are moratorium periods. And once they pass, you still have to start paying on it. So you're, you're, you're cutting your nose to spite your face. I see. And so, and so certainly, you, you're not happy with some of the district hospitals. I mean, they, we, we've seen the one at Dodowa Commission, yeah. Kumewu, uh, has been abandoned, uh, several others. You're certainly not happy about it. Well, Dodowa, we didn't say it. It was but the African Union uh, WHO uh, wing um, commended Dodowa Hospital as actually uh, a template that should be used across the whole of Africa uh, because of the nature of the hospital and the way it was situated and the, the administration. And I would give kudos to the doctor who was in charge of it and who has been running it for a while. He's done extremely well in terms of the administration and the way it's, it works. And the other hospitals that were supposed to have been finished, and I think there were a total of seven, mm. uh, were all going to be under the same type of issue. And we are still waiting. Government is talking about using drones to to um, enhance health delivery. Mm. Your view on that? I think it's a misplaced priority. Um, it's not that you can't do it, or it, it's just it's, and and the reason they gave, which has to do with blood movement, uh, for me is and essential it's, medicines, according to what? Uh, well, the the bottom line is. Uh, do you have the medicines in Kolibu? Let me ask a simple question. Kolibu Pharmacy is there. Because we are not paying NHI well, they can't get the, the drugs they need to actually give out in some of these hospitals. So in fact, when you go to Kolibu, you are then directed or go to a hospital, you're directed to go to a private pharmacy to buy your drugs. Now, the priority should be how can we get our government pharmacies equipped so that they can dispense NHI drugs, which are, people are entitled to, without having to go and pay for it. That is, for me, more of a priority than a drone. How because you... if the one that is even next to you, you cannot deal with, how do you now then get a drone? If you went to uh, a hospital now, and, and this is not peculiar to this government, it's been there, mm. and you were involved in an accident or something and you needed blood, you will be asked to bring a relative to replace the, the, the blood you were. So till you, the relative came or a friend came to give blood, you would not be able to get the blood. They tell you that, oh, if it's an emergency, don't give it to you. It's, the truth is that the reality is that the person must appear and give blood. If not, they will not give you the blood. So if you're putting blood on a drone, question, who at the other end has given blood before they give that blood and put the blood on the drone? Because that's the that is the 
on written it policy. An unwritten policy. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> if how does a drone sit, solve that problem? You're sending blood to an emergency spot, and in actual fact, they haven't got somebody to give blood already to replace it. The drone will never take off. I mean, how, and this is the reality. How do we reach hard to? <laughs> how do we get to these hard to reach areas? Well, the point is that you have to put blood banks in the right places, and that should be more of the priority. And but the emphasis now should be. Uh, uh, spending some of this money on a drive to get people to donate blood voluntarily because we don't have enough blood in the first place that's why you're asked to give blood uh, replace the blood before you can take it so we have to uh, get a policy which we were looking at of trying to say look ministry by ministry month by month over a 12 month period you would say look we're going to the ministry of health in january all people who are eligible to give blood give blood. Next ministry would be uh, transport. Next would be the castle. So that you, you, you begin to build a, a mindset amongst people. But start with yourselves. That is government institutions. And say, look, voluntarily give blood. And then, so that when you get to the point where there's enough blood, and there's a lifespan for blood, and there's enough blood in the system, and you start getting it so that as you go from one to the other, district assemblies, municipalities, uh, government institutions make it an inherent policy that giving blood is now part and parcel it will even point out illnesses for people that don't even know they have the illnesses because when they take the blood they screen it mm. so for me drones misplaced priority we have other priorities and Moreover, we're not in any way enhance our health delivery look as a country we spent a lot of money uh, or we get a lot of money from donors for vaccinations hiv etc but this money is being reduced year in, year out now because we were now deemed to be a lower middle income economy. Mm. So those amount, So each year, the amount we as a country have now to begin to pay for these things is going to increase. So before you take on more social interventions that cost money, deal with the ones that you're going, you already have and are on their way. Make sure you have enough funding to cover vaccines in the next three to four years, which because no longer will you be able to just pick them right. or get them from you donors. Have you have to pay for it. So we have existing debts which are coming. Some have already started, I believe. And therefore, it's imperative that these are factored into how we look at other if, uh, issues we deal with. And drones for me, therefore, it's not that it cannot work. It's a misplaced priority.